we are discussing about java swing and in the last module we have discussed some components in it and there are few more components which are which we are going to cover in this uh, module uh, so first component uh, that okay here uh, j separator j separator is a new one which was not there in awt and then j separator uh, basically as it is uh, shown here it looks like a separator in the sense that it will basically divide uh, the display area into two uh, parts with the different settings look like and uh, it has two constructors and the two methods and here is a simple example which will show the usage of j separator in any window program as we see here so this is basically the j separator this j separator includes uh, the menu and whenever you click menu some items will appear there so in this j separator some other things also can be added we will discuss about the tab and other menus also can be added like and if you select then menu item will be displayed is there so this is basically the usage of the j separator uh, in your program and this program you can uh, understand yourself and is very simple that you will be able to follow it how it is or there and j progress progress bar usually we are familiar to whenever you are some downloading or saving some file or copying some from one source to another usually a progress bar will show that how much uh, percentage of things that we have done so progress bar is a dynamic components and this is a look of a progress bar now in your java program also you can have uh, a progress bar in and then you can show it so there are four constructors to do it and then it has some methods by which uh, different information about the progress bar can be extracted and this is a simple example by which you can show we have given the two outputs like in the middle way how when the progress bar is working and then when the finished uh, job is there. So, this is a simple example that you can try and you can see how it will work in your program and then j t this is very interesting on uh, a, a swing components. Uh, j t actually we are also familiar to these things whenever we uh, browse a directory and then that uh, so it basically shows what are the sub directories under a directory what are the files under the sub directories like like so the entire tree will look like this uh, it can be maintained using a component class only from which the information can be obtained from the drive so it has the three constructors and it is a very simple example which basically shows how a j tree can be uh, can be shown can be used as we see here we declare this is basically the one we can say the style is the one root under this root there is a two nodes it is nodes under this uh, again uh, nodes there are sub nodes actually now you see how we can create it is basically style it is basically the default mutable mu tree node uh, this is the file which is there in class which is declared there in uh, swing package we have to use it and then we can create style and then we can create other other what is called the menu uh, uh, node like say color and font now here you see style dot add color that means we add color as a part of the style then add font as a part of the style like style under style color and under style font then we can add some other mu node uh, under this color so it is basically we define it and under this color dot add red this means we go into the color red so this way tree of any branches after the another branches can be created so this is a simple example which basically tell you how the J java tree can be created whenever it is required in your program so this is the idea about um, j tree and the next is j color chooser this is also very interesting probably you know whenever you use uh, any word application like ms word and whenever you have to decide the font of a uh, uh, color of a font then you have to choose it and then color can be chosen from a color pen so here is the color pen look like and you can choose any one color and then that color can be set in there instead of writing color dot blue color dot green like any other color can be added here so by default it will have this is the color chosen with say 200 uh, colors like you can add more colors into it also there is a possibilities those things can be done by this constructor 
and there is a method by which the color chooser uh, items uh, can which color it has been chosen the value of that color can be used there. So, again this is a simple uh, program for practice you can practice this program you can see how the color can be chosen here is basically one button is added and using this button uh, the action handler is there if you click it that color chooser option will pop up and then from there you can select some color and that color will be selected and using that color if you write something if you draw something that will be uh, with that color and then color can be resetted and here is also see whatever the recent color that you have used that also will be displayed to you. It is a very similar to uh, okay, it is in the context of say Microsoft Word or this kind of things it is there the same concept it can. So, using this color chooser you can develop our very sophisticated and smart program windows program and the tab van is basically very much essential one component which is also new not there in the AWT and within these things it basically if you create a frame in this frame lot of other tabs is there if you know excel and you know probably at the bottom uh, there are a lot of tabs will be there that tabs corresponding to the page page 1 page 2 page 2 or more probably it is called the seat 1 seat 2 seat 3 like that so these are the tab and you can rename this tab so this name is seat 1 this is seat 2 or say photo album 1 album 2 album 3 or whatever it is there so it basically helps uh, uh, to develop a program uh, develop a windows program which to organize the different uh, menu items on the frame itself and it can be placed again the constructor is there the tab can be placed either in the top or usually bottom so usually the by default uh, the top uh, tab pen is uh, is is there and then otherwise you can customize into according to your so here is basically uh, j tab pen and then j tab pen in tab placement in is basically the placement the 0 1 these are the two things are there otherwise in, in the left side also bottom side so 0 1 2 3 these are the different value that can be mentioned and this basically table layout policy that means the tab pen if it is there if you want to add more items into it then what will be the layout manager that you can follow and it has the simple example for your practice again uh, you can see how the tab pen will appear into a frame which is included in a uh, in a container and then j slider is another one example which is also new which is not there in awt and as you see uh, this is a basically uh, or uh, user look of a slider using the mouse you can just uh, select a slider and then slider can be dragged to show that this is the position that you want to have so this way the different value can be entered into the system and if you press ok at the position the slider has released it will basically get the same value and it return to the system it has the few constructor and then methods and this is the one simple program for your practice you can run it and you can see this how it will work and then you can click uh, using mouse you can drag and move the slider into any positions and release it like that and then j spinner is also similar to the slider but here actually the numerical value is a continue at the continuous range or some discrete range both can be defined can be utilized here here is basically it is like look like whenever you have to select font size usually you know in the microsoft or or other uh, word documents processor there is basically this kind of spinner is there if you click it then it will change it if you keep if you keep on clipping then the value automatically will increase and then it will release it then that value will be selected and then if you press it ok then that value is selected like this. So, this is a user look of a j spinner and it has the two constructors and two methods and this is a one simple example by which a j spinner with some default values can be planned and you can change the different values here we can see uh, the j spinner uh, whenever it is display uh, with initial value 5 and it has range 0 to 10. So, we can decide what is the range. So, for example, 0 to 100 also we can decide it and then this is basically the step that means how much incrementation 0 1 like this one if we say 0 0.5 that means uh, the in rate of increment that can be specified here. So, this is a different way the j spinner can be controlled you can ok you can run this program with different settings and then you can get how the j spinner will look like this here and j file chooser is basically whenever you have to develop a system uh, program like and then j file chooser is usually more preferable here basically whatever the files are there in the current directory it will select it and then it will display and then uh, it will allow to generate many events by selecting a particular file and then 
saving it or uh, copying it or opening it whatever it is there. So, this basically look like uh, the component uh, according to J file chooser in Java Swing. It has four constructors and this is a simple program that you can check of your own. These are the different folder that we have included here. In this folder whatever the files it is there, it basically will be displayed there. So, you can try it and then you can have fun regarding running and you see how it is there. If you specify the different uh, directory according to that directory whatever the files it is there, that files will be displayed uh, automatically. And then J toggle button, it is also button, but the difference that it has only toggling either on off or open close or male female this kind of things are there. So, binary pattern it is there, it has two constructors. Uh, so many constructor and then methods and it is an example as you see we have created uh, uh, one button and then it has two fields on and off and how this if you click it here automatically on will be toggle to off and whenever it is off it is there click it or toggle to on. So, toggling uh, is occurs whenever there is an event occurs and then it can be uh, that button value will be automatically set accordingly and then that value will be used for some other. Uh, requirement uh, that is there in your program. And then J toolbar, it is very similar to the menu item itself, it looks it has the two constructors and then uh, uh, so many methods are there and this is an example as we see the file edit option 1 like in under this option 1 so many other things are there. So, it is called the toolbar uh, like it is just similar to the menu bar, but it is specially named as toolbar and we can use it. So, as it is used to develop some tools that is why it is the name is toolbar and J view port it is just like a uh, uh, text area look like, but it is uh, or it is also very similar to the panel. Panel also um, uh, has a special area that can be viewed in a separate way like and it has the two uh, classes uh, uh, two nested class in it and then it has the two different values and then constructor only one constructor and there are so many methods and it is an example which basically display a J view port uh, and, and then the background and everything can be say, uh, chosen there and the different setting style the different theme also can be included and those things you can use the different constructor to do that. Okay, so, you can try with the same thing here I have used the default constructor but my advice is that you can try with the different constructor that I have already mentioned and then run this program. It is applicable to all uh, examples that I have instead there. I have used only one constructor, but for your practice for your learning you should try all these things with the different constructors and the different method also you can call once this object is created you can see what is the method returns and then you can try to print this method on the windows or you can try to print the method using the drawstring into the same frame like this one. So, you can understand that what they are doing for you actually and then this is just okay starting point you have to ultimately you have to use to develop your program that you can decide one project and then in for that project you can think that what you want to have and then accordingly try to realize it and that is all basically this is the way of learning this kind of concept it is there. So, this is the J viewpoint and then I will come to the container class there as you see this is the component there are so many components we have covered in the this module as well in the last module and then so far the container is concerned there there are three things are there frame, panel, dialog box and one container is also applet. So, applet also can be added here although we have not used any example for that, but it is basically if you create one program which extends an applet and whatever the component you want to add, add can be added into the applet also which we have already given the enough illustration discussion in the while we are discussing about AWT. So, applet is very same we just uh, ignore it here in this uh, discussion. Anyway, so far the container is concerned as we see container includes window, it can include panel and also frame dialog and it can also include applets. So, these are the whole what is called the I mean concept uh, so far the container in Java swing is concerned there and all those things are there in AWT itself. So, it is an addition with some better what is called the look and uh, 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 feeling. Now, let us see what is the J panel it is there and as we see a panel can includes within another panel and so on so on. So, it can be nested that is why it is called the nested uh, facility which was not there in AWT of course. 
and it has the const, uh, constructor like panel and then it has one argument is uh, double buffered that means all the contents can be stored and the layout manager means which layout manager if you want to add many more items into the panel itself then which is the layout manager that you have to follow. Layout manager concept is same as the layout manager that we have discussed in the java dot awt that means uh, flow layout, border layout, grid layout, car layout all those things are applicable here also. That is why they, are, they do not have any explicit or special uh, bearing in uh, java swing that is why it is not included here. And this is an example about how the panel can be there as you see uh, the here entirely this is basically a frame this is the entire frame in this frame a panel is there and in this panel two buttons are added here. So, this is the example and uh, the for this output the program will look like as it is shown here. So, you can run this program and you can uh, see the output and you can change many parameters in the uh, program that we have used there and then you can see it for example, uh, the background of the panel can be changed and then button instead of button you can add some other components into it whatever it is there you can do lot of experiments and starting this program you can start changing many things and then learn it. So, this is the idea actually that I want to mention and so this is the panel and then like frame we have already familiar to frame concept there is an awt is the same concept it is here also it is also nested class means uh, frame is defined uh, we inside the component class that is why it is called the nested class. It has some fields like exit on close, root pan, root pan checking enable these are the fields and it has the four constructor for the different way the frame, frame can be initialized actually. All constructors are for initializing the object whenever we create it. So, there are default constructor and then some graphics can be added it basically this graphics is for style a frame can be with the different style setting color background all these things are there the frame can be added using some title also and both title and then configure and also it is there frame can be without any title like this one. So, these are the constructor that can be used there while you are in the program and there are so many methods using these methods the information about a panel can be extracted which can be utilized for controlling your program and this is a simple example as you see it is a frame and this frame includes on simple button and then it will basically use it. And then this this program is ok as you see here a label is also used in this uh, frame. So, label button button is labeled as label button and then the frame is created as a show frame it is there title is uh, j frame by example. So, this is the one thing that we have used in a simple container, but the same thing again if you can repeat it here just only change it um, what change you should do it for example, you want to include these things into an applet that means, we want to add a frame into an applet only simple pro change you should do public class j frame ex extends applet and then main method should not be there instead of main method you can write uh, some init method here you can and then code uh, include all these codes that is all it will basically create uh, a frame and then frame includes some other elements like. So, it is a simple that we have already uh, uh, experienced while we are discussing about awt how a component can be added into an applet how a component can be added into frame like like. So, this is the idea about uh, frame and uh, then calculator uh, let us see one idea about we have already given one uh, uh, illustration about how a calculator will look like if we use awt. Now, that time also we have uh, explained we have mentioned that the calculator is not pretty look good and lot of other styling that you have to do from the programmer end only. So, that a calculator can looks very good and more elegant is there. However, Java swing has lot of simplicity. So, that a calculator can be easily drawn according to the nice view of it without much headache about the programmer here. And as you see here this is a very good looking calculator and this is the calculator that we uh, we can develop using uh, swing components easily. So, I will give you the step by step uh, whatever the methods that we can follow to develop such a calculator. So, what are the method that is required and then designing a calculator is basically is a first hand practice actually. If you can design a calculator successfully then you can earn lot of confidence about uh, how the swing can be utilized to develop any app any application for your uh, requirement that we can suit to your requirement. 
Now, first uh, the method that we should mention is that, uh, so we have to add whether component, which are the component that needs to be used that say suppose we have to create this as a frame or is a panel, then you have to add this component and then uh, then adds other components those will be included in this one. So, here actually as we see, uh, so all buttons are there. So, we can see uh, 16 buttons as well as one equals button total altogether 17 buttons are there and in addition to 17 buttons as you see one text field area is there. So, as you see these are the 17 buttons right and this is basically the frame area and in this frame area there is another text field also there. So, the, the entire is the frame and in this frame there is one text field area and these are the button and this one there and buttons are now included in this component. Obviously, we can follow certain um, layout manager may be say grid layout manager. So, we can create a grid layout like this one then uh, then accordingly we can decide it and if you use the flow layout manager also we can do that whatever the way you can do no issue. So, you can adjust it. So, these are the 17 buttons you can customize to place it say suppose equals button you can say this one. So, a right aligned or it is there we have used the center aligned for this one like. So, the anyway so these are the buttons and then text field and then uh, the background these are the few things that you have to consider so far the this calculator design is concerned you can change the color as a instead of blue maybe say cyan or yellow whatever it is there. Anyway, so first you have to add the components and then all the components that you will include into that container we have to define them and then add this. And then finally, this will give a look like which is basically just a structure, but we have to add the event. Now, how the event can be added we have already discussed about we have to register the action listener which action listener that you want to use here. Here usually the mouse uh, being the action listener can be added there add action listener for specified event to be controlled. And then background color whatever it is there you can choose it size of the that calculator also you can decide using set size function and then set text, set text is basically set the text to the level to S that means whatever the levels are there you can set the text like and then get text is basically return to the text that you have leveled it here. So, here basically 1, 2, 3 all these things the text that you have set to each bar uh, each button like and then it will basically return the uh, values. So, whether value will be here in the text field or the value will be here all those things can be here. Now, in addition to this as you see these are the few other it is not the text actually they are basically for some operation and those operation means if we click it it basically okay, action is that okay, whatever the results it is there and then what the subsequent things will be entered into this it will appear and then uh, the addition of the two operands will take place. So, this is the idea actually it is there. Now, so the idea is that we have to first design uh, the layout and then place all the um, components in it and then finally, define the event handling mechanism. So, these are the steps major steps are involved here. Now, let us see uh, the step wise everything uh, okay, one by one for each discussion here. Now, this is the first step. Uh, in this step what we do is that as you see here let us go slowly, so that you can understand about it. So, we are creating a calculator extends J frame and implement action listener because we want to include event there. Now, <coughs> so first we create a J frame and this is the F is the J frame and then text field uh, that is given as the L and S 0, S 1 and S 2 are the three strings that we have considered for the two operands and one result actually. So, calculator is the constructor initially they are basically null string. Uh, so, initially calculator is basically has the null value like and then we have to go to the main frame main method the main method create a frame f using swing calculator. So, it will be basically title here or it will be display here swing calculator look like. So, with these things it will basically create like this one. Now, if we go put the next step our step 2 and then in the step 2 as you see we just use one uh, UI manager it is defined in the uh, Java swing itself set look and feel UI manager dot get system look and feel 
class name. So, it is basically automatically defined whichever the look that you can have. So, it is basically that this is the default look that we have used it here and if suppose it is not able to decide this UI manager then it, it will just simply throw an error like this one. Anyway, so we can this one and get system look and fill class name is basically give you what are the UI manager that you are including. It is just same as the layout manager concept. It is here in the Java swing explicitly it is called the user interface manager UI manager like. Anyway, then we create a calculator object C is a type we have already designed the constructor there with initial value S0 equals to S1 equals to S2 equals to null string like. And then we create uh, we create a text field JLL text field is there and set editable that means text field can be editable we can type something here also this is why it is make editable and is a false means no editable is possible. So, we cannot type anything here and then we create so many buttons B0 to uh, B9 for the numeric button and B8 to B M for addition subtraction and division multiplication for equal and B equal B equal le, le, B equal are the two also we have created it anyway. And then we add all these buttons or we create the button B0 with some level as it is shown here. So, we are just ok, uh, we are continuing the step 2 again because there are a few more items to be added there. And so, so we are adding all these uh, items, so all buttons are there nine, 0 to 9 buttons, all these uh, basically um, uh, some addition, subtraction, multiplication, all these buttons are there with level, all these things are there and then B another button is created with dot. So, point is there and B equal another button also will be uh, added. Now, J panel P equals to new panel we create one panel that is a panel is basically we want to include this is basically rather we can say instead of frame it is a panel actually. So, in this panel we want to add all these things there. Now, we are defining the action listener method here. So, B M B D B S B A for this class component actually here in this case uh, calculate the component. So, we are adding uh, some methods uh, that that ok if we press B m then what of, uh, of action that it will produce. So, these are the things it is declared here and then uh, then so these are the action listener for all components those we have included here we have added it there and then finally, we add all the buttons and labels and text field into the panel. So, this is the statement for that. So, this completes the addition of all the elements into the button side by side and then this one. What is my suggestion is that you just do one step and then run it check it that how it is going on. So, usually if you do everything together and then you may not find that how it is working. So, first create the button and then complete it and then run it and see the output then add buttons, then run it, see how it is coming, add text field, run it, see and this thing. So, one by one if you do it, you will be able to have the good uh, feeling that how it is working actually for you. And then next step is basically once the all components are added into the button and we have to define the action performed for each uh, what is called the component. So, here is the routine for uh, action perform that you have to write it. Now, here if s dot character is 0 that means the first character is 0 or it is less than 9 or it is this one. So, this basically go on appending here. So, if you type something here in this one, so it will go on appending here. So, 4 5.6, so it will 4 5.6 will be display here like that. So, this is basically the first thing that we are doing and then so this is basically the ok in continuation our next is here we are reading if the different things are upon for example, if this equals right this thing is there then it basically sum and then if this is C the clear. So, C button is there if we then it is basically what will happen and then so these are the different actions if something is happen for example, plus or minus or division then it is basically what it will do all these things. So, whenever we press it, it basically read one string another reads to string. So, there is those string and it is there and then result will be obtained. So, this is the procedure by which the different actions can be listens 
and for this actions the uh, consequence can be added there and then operation will be there and finally, as you see here finally, the <coughs> result will be stored there and the result will be like this. So, set text is a label uh, that is mean text fill area it can shown it here. Now, so idea is uh, okay, how a calculator can be designed I have given an idea about it. So, two things are there first you have to plan uh, the entire layout and then according to the layout you have to decide that what are the different components are to be included and then you include those components and then then you have to add the action handling mechanism that is all. So, this way you can uh, we will be able to do it. So, this program as I have given for your practice uh, I should advise you to uh, uh, run this program and then you will see how it is working and then part by part program execution is better uh, suggested so that you can understand this concept clearly. Anyway, so we have learned about AWT and swing and these are the things uh, very much essential for uh, window programming uh, other than the simple pro programming that we have learned regarding multi threading input output handling and then uh, in, in encapsulation all those things are there, but this will add more color to your programming arena actually. And here obviously, you can have the answer that whether both S w a string and a w t can be punched together or not obviously, it is possible. And then as you see uh, if you compare a w t and string and then they are comparable in terms of many other parameters, but one parameters is that swing gives you much more elements than the a w t it is much much more actually. Now, I just left it as an exercise that how many classes that you can use so far the AWT is concerned and how many swing it is there. Now, okay, you can count it and you can just learn it that okay, swing is more much more elaborative, more voluminous, however, easier than the AWT to use it and it gives you more what is called a smart looking program development. So, thank you for your uh, attending this module.